Formula 1 community are extremely excited waiting for the coming Italian Grand Prix, especially Mercedes fans who apparently started to see that Team Zascar perform the way it's supposed for the first time since the beginning of the season. A long struggle against the car bouncing and the floor issue didn't allow Mercedes to focus on what should be focused on. The team kept working to solve these problems and that took them the whole first half of the season and cost the 8 times constructor champion team the race for the title so early. So Mercedes moved then to a less ambitious plan, taking lessons for the next season and improving what could be improved to win a single race before the end. What are Mercedes' plans for this weekend? Are there any upgrades scheduled? A lot of rumors talk about an upgrade package Silver Arrows are adding during the summer break, and the W13 won't be the same in the second part of the season. The whole Formula 1 community waited for something special at Spa, but unfortunately it was a huge disappointment instead of a special comeback, especially after the controversy about floor issue, cheating investigations, and the FIA mid-season modifications. Zandvoort vs Seppen's home race couldn't be Mercedes' first win of the season. However, with all the challenges there, the car was faster than anyone could expect. Expect. They have been close to the first place as they have never been since the start of the season. But a team's last minute strategy costed Hamilton a possible first win for the season in Verstappen's home. That could have been a very emotional one. Now, ahead of the Italian Grand Prix this weekend at Monza, Mercedes fans are raising hope and being so optimistic, ignoring the fact that Zanvoort and Monza don't have the same characteristics. Unlike Zanvoort, Monza, over its long storied history, has been always known for its high speed. Unlike Singapore or Monaco, which are tight and harder, with a lot of corners. Monza is actually simplistic. This circuit is currently the fastest track on the Formula 1 calendar and has been so since 1991, with Lewis Hamilton scoring during the 2020 Italian Grand Prix qualifyings the fastest lap in the Formula 1 history. Monza is actually hard on engines, characterized by very long straights and tight chicane, putting the premium on a good brake in stability and traction. We have seen many engine failures on this track, in fact, the last one was Nico Rosberg in 2015 and before him, Fernando Alonso during the 2006 Italian Grand Prix. Ask about some possible technical upgrades, Mercedes team are bringing to the race this weekend. Toto Wolff responded sarcastically that his team will be removing its rear wing to boost Formula 1 performance at the competition in Italy. Wolff find this modification as the solution for their cause's vulnerability on the straight. Wolff explained that this part is actually useless, especially with the downforce effect. We're thinking about removing the rear wing overall to be less vulnerable on the straight. I mean, we have a barn door of a car with too much drag, and with downforce where we really don't need it. Wolff added during the same interview with media including Racing News, added that he wishes his team will be able to change in a short time. I believe that on some tracks, especially in qualifying, that will bite us. That is something we wish we can change quickly. We'll I'll find that his team is moving the right way and all these issues during the season will be lessons to take for the coming years. At the same time, Mercedes boss mentioned another time, despite being able to understand better the W13 and get to manage it on track, his team will still have some very difficult races to come. Our performance is fundamentally ingrained in the car concept as it is, but we are now understanding better how everything interacts. I think we can tune the car more precisely to fit and to target the performance window. Having said that, there will be races that are better for us, and there might be some on the calendar that will be very difficult. The team boss revealed that he, with his technical self, are already expecting the United States Grand Prix to be very tough for them. However, he didn't miss the opportunity to clarify their goals for the rest of the season, saying that they will not be fighting for pole position, but they will make sure they get back to this level for next season and that is their main goal. Austin is something that we discussed. It can be a very difficult one. So you need to stay realistic in my opinion. We won't be fighting for pole position on all the other racetracks. But at least we need to really get us back to this point for next year. George Russell, the Mercedes young talent driver who finished second at the Dutch Grand Prix, stated that he wasn't so surprised about how well the W13 went on hard tires at the weekend. I think the car was really feeling good this weekend from lap 1. On Friday, I knew it was going to be a much better weekend than we had in Spa. I think Spa played against us. Zanvoort probably towered us. Russell added that the race at Monza will be very different from the one in Netherlands. The British driver declared that his team is still bringing updates to their W13, how could his car perform? Russell answered that he's still not sure about it, but hopes his car will perform the way it did in the Dutch Grand Prix. So I'm not sure how our Monza performance is going to be. I think it probably be somewhere between the two, hopefully closer to what we saw this weekend. But I think it's really promising we have so much race pace. Russell, who's currently fourth on the driver's standings with 188 points, with 120 points behind the leader of the championship, Max Verstappen. So Russell confirmed that his team is working hard on the W13 to be able soon to fight for victory. So you know, we got into some very different circuits in the upcoming races, but globally we're bringing a lot of performance to the core. And as I said, I think we have car that's capable of fighting for victory. We just need to be able to start a little bit higher up the order. 
Tell us in the comments down below what are your expectations for the coming Italian Grand Prix, who you'll be supporting. That was all for today's video, guys. Watch Drop a like if you have enjoyed the subscribe video. Subscribe if you are a Formula One fan. Thanks for watching. We want daily newest time. news of your favorite drivers and the most exciting races.